Welcome back to another episode on b Reviews in Gaming and Entertainment. In this episode, we take a look at a simple yet one of the most addictive series in gaming history, but this time with a bit of a makeover and a lot more firepower, Pac-Man 256. Pac-Man and I never really saw eye to eye in gaming. I know the game well and have played it way back with the original 8-bit Nintendo Entertainment System and I can see the addictiveness the game can leave. My family grew up huge, especially with Miss Pac-Man, and my aunt still holds a world record of anyone dominating the game in my eyes. That was the day I saw how frantic it can be and pretty much gave up after that. Forward to present day, and along comes a bundle in a Bandai Namco sale from the HumbleBundle.com site, and I had to have since Tekken 7 was the main game I wanted. Never playing the game and leaving it uninstalled on my PC, I finally gave it a try as my son saw the title in my library. Best decision ever. Pac-Man 256 was developed by Hipster Whale and released by Bandai Namco in 2015 through 2016 for Android, iOS, Windows, Mac OS, Linux, PlayStation 4, and the Xbox One. The game is an endless running video game that is inspired by the original Pac-Man's infamous level of the 256 glitch. The original Pac-Man had an integer inner flow making the 256 level impossible to complete as the level loads improperly. As you play the game, it mimics this glitch as you are thrown into the infamous level 256 which is a never ending and your progress is ranked by how long you last and your score before the glitch catches up to you. This time around you will notice a 3D view of Pac-Man that is very clean and very colorful. There are glitches around the game that you have to push Pac-Man in upwards direction as the bottom portion of the screen is being eaten up by the glitch itself. The gameplay here is the best about the game as it is easy to pick up and play as well as extremely tight and responsive when you play the game. Using an Xbox 360 wired gamepad as my controller of choice, I had no issues, no lag, or any problems maneuvering Pac-Man around the map. As you proceed further and further, the glitches also leave power-ups to help you fight the ghosts on another level of destruction, like lasers, tornadoes, and clones to attack the ghosts. The power pallets that the Pac-Man eats also can save you, as once you've eaten about 256, the entire page flashes to get rid of all the enemies on screen at that time. The story here, there is no real story except to get as far as you can before the glitches catch up to you and you die. Best score is how long you can last and how high you can get. The usual going against your best time and score for the most part is fun, but the fun here is really undeniable. They made the game completely stand out on its own merit and added so much chaos to the game it actually makes a lot of sense. The soundtrack here isn't big or inspirational but does its job with really cool tracks that really add to an addictive environment then actually taking away from it. The sound effects and special effects from the weapons to the glitches all combine into something that continues to hype you up and get your blood pressure pumping as you joyfully play throughout the game. Whether you are looking for a game that is short and fun or in it for the long haul, Pac-Man 256 has it all as you mow down the ghosts with new weapons and visuals. But with the same tight responsive control, we know Pac-Man has always had and still has today. Pac-Man 256 gets an 8.0 out of 10 for its addictive fun gameplay that you can play anywhere and play as long or as short as you want on your own terms. That's it for this look at a different Pac-Man with 256. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Be out and great. 
take us out of here, and I will see you all next upload. Yeah.